Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I am back on the video. And today I had the opportunity to have a conversation with Katherine Kavari and Zeno Robinson, uh, who play Twitch and Thrash in Transformers Earthspark, as the episodes 11 through 26 are currently now available on DVD. They reached out, they wanted to have a conversation, so we talked Transformers and a little bit more. So uh, now there is a moment in the interview in which when I was at, in the middle of asking a question, for whatever reason, my audio kind of ducked out in a weird way and I don't understand why, but it might have been my internet, it might have been Zoom, not sure, but just want to kind of give you guys the heads up before the interview starts. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's transform and roll out. <laughs> so what's are going on, guys? Hi, how are you? How you been? Hello, the last bro. time I talked to you, you had um, it was like right at the first two episodes that aired. Uh, the last time nice. I talked to you guys, if you guys remember, awesome. you know. And now the show has been, you know, got a whole season going on. You guys have, uh, there's yeah. there's talk about, you know, the second season coming and, you know, lots of stuff happening, you know, yep. especially since, um, you know, Kat, I know uh, this is like, this is for both of you guys. This is like their first foray into Transformers, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It is. Although Zeno, I know you, you've been a long time fan. So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so my first foray being in <laughs> being in it yeah right exactly and um so you know when the show first starts you, you're before I, you know, I i can talk about the the show itself and then i can talk about you guys and you know because you you guys do a great job i have to say like you know i watched all 26 episodes and took the time to to you know appreciate both uh twitch and thrash and and really like appreciated their characters as they grew throughout the season how would you guys say that you you know from the those first two episodes where like you guys are trying to like get into your character trying to figure out how how they are to how you how they evolve throughout the season until like the the final episodes you know how would you guys say that you you know did, did any do you change any of your approach to them or just you know yeah i mean for twitch she definitely has quite a character arc and she kind of goes from being like really bubbly and excited and you know eager to learn her her skills and she's uh got this sort of exciting young energy um going into it and then as the season sort of progresses and things become more and more there's more challenges there's more threats there are more threats to her family um, she sort of has to grow up over that time and really come into her role as a leader and uh, it does get a little bit more serious. And even I think when I was voicing her, there were times where like her, even her register changes. Yep. Um, so it's very indicative of sort of like what her arc is too. Per, Absolutely. Per uh, and what about you, Zeno, with, with, with Thrash and, you know, his character as he changed throughout the show? Yeah, uh, in a very similar way to to Twitch, I think in the beginning, uh, you know, Thrash was very just everything was new and he was really excited and he just wanted to like sort of have fun and like he you still know, does by the uh, end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. That's never gonna go away. But I think over the course of the season, as he sort of learns like his kind of greater place within the Transformers mythology, the 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 lore. Um, you know, he sort of has to kind of question and come to come to terms with it um, and kind of figure out what he wants to do or where he belongs. You know, he's got this kind of this kind of uh, dilemma about like this responsibility of being the future of Cybertron or like living at home with his family. You know, there's like this great responsibility sort of being placed on his shoulders and his eyes sort of unfairly. So, you know, he knows he can't just be reckless abandon all the time. Like responsibilities are coming into his life and he has to figure out how to adapt to those things. Yeah. Um, I think by the, by the, uh, first and foremost, I love Multibots roll out. Like I love that oh, first. Yeah. Thing, uh, that whole, like, <laughs> okay. you got a whole team going on, you know, I mean, yeah. other transformer series, they have different teams of transformers. So you have like the constructicons or the, 
mm-hmm. the aerial bots and they're you know they'll, they'll say like you know stunticons transform and roll out like or that it'll be like a different mm-hmm. you know team so like the multi bots being a whole team is is i think was just as cool i like the dynamic between the brother and sister between both twitch and thrash as the character you know because you have the other three and they have a lot of showtime between them but I liked the dynamic between both Twitch and Thrash the best mm-hmm. personally, and mm-hmm. especially in the final like episodes. As um, I, I don't want to spoil it, you know, for people who haven't watched <laughs> the final episodes, but a certain right. thing happens, you know, and you have Twitch just like is like the last last gal standing, and <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, with yeah, it yeah. all, and so you you're uh, wondering how it's all going to you know play out. So I thought that was, um, you know. I, the the final, those final episodes were, were dark, but yet at the same time, um, you know, it was kind of like a payoff to everything that you guys had laid the groundwork for um, as the show went on. So the other question I have um, specifically is, you know, how much input do you guys have into bringing your characters to life? Was there more, um, you know, like they just kind of like directed you, you know, voice wise, or was there a lot of input in how you, you know, because some, you know, you sometimes you hear like Peter Cullen, when he brings in Optimus Prime, he talks about how his brother and him wanting to be that hero. Um, how much did Twitch and Thrash did, you know, was your own personality that you brought into it or was it more so direct director um, to be different than, you know, other Transformers characters? I know it's kind of a hard question. <laughs> I mean, I think um, that a lot of it was, oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, um, I think with any kind of character, you sort of bring something to it that's within yourself or mm-hmm. within your life. Even with Peter Cullen, you know, and his brother, like that is still a part of of his life, and he's able to channel that from his brother in his own way. Yeah, I think for me, like uh, uh, I just I inject a lot of myself in Thrash because he. Uh, he kind of reminds me of myself in a lot of ways. And so it's a little easier for me to sort of inject my, you know, like kind of put a lot more of my personality. So we'd be uh, hanging it, out, like having fun no matter what, just as much as thrash. Yeah, definitely. hundred percent. It's you know? like my number one goal in life is to just have fun. There you go. Um, and then it's his, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I think like, um, um, I, I, I just approached it even in the audition process. Like I just kind of made it my own thing. I just kind of did my own thing. And that is kind of what worked. And as the show went on, you know, I, I have a little bit of freedom to sort of put a little more here, a little more there, you know, sometimes I can improv a line or sometimes Christy will say, do your own thing on this take, you know, um, and uh, maybe it'll make it in or maybe it won't. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. But I think like I know Thrash very well enough to be able to have the freedom to do that and uh cat would you say the same thing there's a lot a lot of yourself you think you brought to to uh um yeah i mean twitch is definitely like you know written as like this excited uh enthusiastic character who's mm-hmm. who's you know ready to take on this role um not on, not on her watch yeah yeah exactly <laughs> and, and so it's like a lot of it is there it's on it's on the paper but certainly uh, you know as as you know was saying you you bring your own energy into it your own interpretation and along the way you've got um christy letting you know like what to up and what to bring down and you know what to change and how to how to do things but certainly i also do relate to twitch in a lot of ways it doesn't take much to get me excited about something and i definitely feel like a an energy to protect uh, the people that I love and to be responsible for the people that I love. Um, those are, those are qualities that I can very much relate to in, in Twitch. And I understand where she's coming from. And um, So yeah, it's definitely a combination of all of those things. Yeah. The show, the show definitely had a family dynamic to it with, you know, and, and I think that sure. not just your guys' characters, but everybody's characters in the show was, was much more of a family dynamic. Like each one is caring for each other in their yeah. own way. And, you know, wanting to have fun with everybody else out, out in the world, except you have all this crazy stuff happening around you. Mm-hmm. Um, how much has the, uh, like have, how much uh, eye opening to the Transformers universe did this become, you know, especially I, I say, say to you, Kat, well, but like, 
how much of the, the the Transformers universe like uh like it opened your eyes to seeing like how how involved the Transformers universe was compared to you know some other fr- you know franchises and things that you might have been a part of like I know you you play Kamala Khan and uh you know with as, as Miss Marvel but um you know how how did the Transformers universe you know change you know how did you see it differently you know as you came to it was how I would uh uh yeah I mean I I did watch Transformers as a kid too but I, I certainly learned a lot um once I came into Twitch it was there there was a a lot of lore that I wasn't aware of there's stuff that I'm still learning um but it was and especially like this version of of what we're doing with with the Malto family um just seeing that play out and having this this family to become acquainted with and how unique and singular this family is um and to have that now be a part of the whole transformers world yeah is 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 really really cool it certainly expands the universe for sure the other question i have is how the two of you have kind of like become now part of the transformers family in a way um how has the fandom really like i don't know if you had any interaction with with fans besides myself how has the fan fandom like approached you because i know it's only been one season but still you know how, how have you guys been accepted into the transformers like fran- franchise as a whole you know how how would you say that 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 the experience has been so far it's been really nice i haven't had too many uh encounters yet with you know outside of like tfcon um with with the fans but everyone at tfcon was really excited about there just being a new sort of show in the transformers world um and so far like the people i do encounter like really, really love the show. Um, and it's been really, really great to sort of see. It's been great to that to know that people are, are watching and that they're they're having a good time and that they want more. Um, yeah, everybody's been been really nice. Uh, I'd love to have more conversations with people about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my first TFCon actually in the summer. Um, you going to Toronto go. or it's are great. you going? No, I'm, I'm gonna try going. and make it to Baltimore. Okay. Um, okay but yeah because yeah, it's i'm, it's, I'm it's gonna be in to... birmingham uk okay oh, nice. oh the, okay the one in the uk okay that, yeah no toronto's nice. in Tor- i guess toronto's in june is that in june the, I'm right gonna... yeah there's a tf con and there's a tf nation and there's a whole bunch of different yeah. transformers yeah, so conventions that come out there yeah, but, and you know because yeah. that's the thing for us as fans like we love to interact with the voice at you know the voice cast mm-hmm. we you know, it like because there's so much, so much that each of you bring to the table, and it is appreciated. Like because the energy you guys bring, the um, you know why why like I'll be attached to a character who hasn't had much showtime since 1986. You know, <laughs> like it'll it'll be characters like that, or even you know for Earthspark, mm-hmm. how those characters grow um, has been you know uh, I, I would say well received. So you know, uh, the other question I have for you guys is. Um, you know, without spoiling it, have you have you had a chance to find out what's going to happen without ex- without spoilers uh, into season two, or 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 is that like still you know you haven't haven't found much yet? You're still like on the you know I know because there's a, there, there's a line that you guys are allowed to cross, so like I'm trying <laughs> to make sure you guys don't burn any bridges. So uh, what I do know and what I can say is. Um, <laughs> the universe will continue expanding <laughs> uh the the universe will continue to expand i think um and in really really interesting ways um man this is so vague uh you, but it I, does I, yeah. it's, it's more so like you, you guys know, know. If, if you guys have found out yeah. it's like it's good to yeah. know because we're a lot of fans are going to be very excited to to see how season two plays out, you know, because yeah, uh, it could feel like an ending and at the same time felt like it could continue. So, yeah. and you know, it was definitely that the, the ending was definitely a, a lot of action for sure. And um, mm-hmm. you know, Kat's character grew, your character grew and I'm, I'm, I'd be very, very excited to see how, where they play out in season two. So that's, yeah, there'll, there'll be more of that. Maybe more of that. For sure, and and action too. Let, let's let there let there be more action. There will be action. There will be. Yeah. 
Well, certainly won't be on your watch that anyone on your on your team is going to get hurt. For sure, <laughs> not on my watch. Yeah, um, and I, I can go on and on about this stuff. Like, if you probably know, like, I'm a super Transformers like lore guy. I, I care about this stuff, you know, deeply. And uh, so, mm-hmm. it's, but it's been an absolute pleasure, you know, talking to you. Uh, we'll probably do this again so you know probably after season two mm. years and oh yeah you know i, I know <laughs> you know what's gonna happen then then i'm gonna sit there and say like oh it, this you you like right? you'll right. be able to like i'll be sitting there like pinpointing little, little things that you might have said <laughs> right oh like, yeah oh, that's what he meant when he said that right yep. <laughs> so but it's been an absolute blast so i i, I appreciate the, the the time um i i you know Thank so i'm gonna so you know ended it here but um so. Thank you. It was oh, really great you. talking thank to you. you. Take care. Yeah, I love it was your really passion. great talking. Yeah, it was great talking. seeing you. So until next time, till all until are next one. time. Until next time. <laughs> until all are one. <laughs> yeah. <I love> <laughs>